Hello everyone. Uh, just say I do have a little bit of a cold, but today we're gonna unbox a few goodies. We're gonna unbox this, this, and I've decided I am going to unbox this Hotline Miami. Now, just to show, this is number 497 out of 2,161 copies. I tried to take the sticker off because it's actually on the plastic away on the box, which is retarded. But, um, I couldn't get it off. It was actually whipping, so what I'm probably going to do is just cut that part out. Uh, I don't know why some people make bad decisions. So what, what should we go with first? Let's probably go with the oddball, because uh, this is from Europe. This, uh, this actually has a pal waiting on it. This, this is extremely a lot more uncommon than these are, so let's, let's go with Hotline Miami's special DRM free copy. Now I need to find a good spot here to get in. It's always a tricky part with this kind of stuff, is looking for that sweet spot. Oh, actually, there was a Bit of a whip in the plastic right there all the way. Yeah. There we go. We'll want to set the plastic to the side because, like I said, I want to get that number cut out. Oh, well, shit. That's weird. It felt like it was on the outside. It was actually on the box. Well, fuck. It actually felt like it was outside the box. Well, shit. Now I feel fucking stupid. It actually really felt like it was on the outside of the box. Huh. <laughs> well, that sucks. Well, let's see. It looks like this is a slip cover. So, the slip cover did get some damage in the mail. It came from overseas, so what do you expect? Uh, not too much in case you want to look at the slip cover in detail, though. And it looks like the box itself is plain and boring, aside from having the sight on the side, which is a little disappointing. They could have probably did something, like have, like maybe a layout of one of the maps or something now. That would have actually been nice. So what we got here? Ugh. Let's listen here. That's it. Oh, no, we still got a little bit. I was like... So let's just take a look and get some stuck here. Looks like it's one of those scan things that go off when you go past uh, at Walmart or something there. I'm not sure what the hell is up with that. So, what's off with you? Uh, one of the first things I always knew about this was uh, the soundtrack you get with the game is on a cassette tape. It's actually sealed, uh, interestingly enough. This is A and B side. Doesn't say anything about what's on it. Um, there was a indie game that came with a cassette uh, tape thing too for its soundtrack too. Very odd. Um, I get why they did it. It's an interesting idea, but uh, I do think it kind of sucks you don't get like a download or something, but then again, most people just post all the fucking soundtracks on YouTube anyway, so there's always that. And here, this is, this is the kind of thing I would expect on the inside the box or something. Oh boy, is that freaking gruesome as hell. Let's see. Oh, it actually opens. I didn't... Let's take a look at that. Oh, and there's Hotline Miami 1 and 2's covers. Very nice, and they look very good. 
it's glossy and it's very nice quality of the artwork. It's not any cheap looking shit. Now let's see. The case for the game isn't sealed at all. Looks like the exact same art there. And we got the two games, which are DRM free. Hotline Miami 1 and... Well, actually it looks like 1 and 2 are on one disc. And it looks like there's a bunch of bonus stuff on a second disc. Hmm. And, yeah, there's nothing under the discs. Just double check. And we got a very nice looking, simplistic... See, notebook, drawings, and scribbles may contain spoilers, so let's see. There's some gritty artwork in here. Pretty much of the style of the game, though. Oh, yeah, this is actually pretty nice. And the black and white works with the game, too, since it's a very retro kind of setting. Like the, uh, was it the 70s or 80s? I can't remember. It's been a... Well, since I played the first game, and I've had a few people want to play, want me to play the sequel. And it looks like the book in that kind of makes the disc case a little wide there. This is definitely very nice looking. Not some kind of cards here. Let's see. Oh, I think this is for the guy who did the music. I think. Little advertisement. And there's some little some little plastic piece in there. Let's see what we got here. Looks like they're supposed to be Oh yeah, because some of the characters were supposed to be like Huh. It says they're of 35, so I'm not sure how they planned on you getting the other cards of this. Uh, this wasn't a very cheap limited edition thing, so uh, I'm not sure what you're really supposed to do with getting the West if you want to complete. Then there's a bunch of goodies in here. Let's see what we got. So let's see, first, got a piece of artwork there, and uh, for some reason just a bunch of the sprites of Kaladors though. Not sure what's up with that. Hmm, is that supposed to like unveil some hidden message? Sure. Then How I Miami Wong number this is like an art book. Oh no, this is a holy fuck, this is a comic. Is this a comic of all Hotline Miami 2 or is this a side story? Oh shit. That's interesting. It's a little fucking comic. That's very nice. That's a interesting piece of uh, merchandise there to get. I hope that's available digitally for people who really like the game. I really liked it, the first Hotline Miami game, so that's one of the primary reasons I got this. Is just I really wanted something for the game. You know, some physical material of it. Because it's, it's one of the indie games I really... It was actually, ironically, one of the first uh, GOG games I uh, got, too. So, eh. Too much sticky stuff all over this package here. So that's pretty nice. I'll have to look, look into that. Pretty overall big box for, to be honest, not a whole lot in it. A few, I mean, nice goodies, and like I said, I get the cassette tape thing, keeping with a the theme, but, um, I don't know, it seems a little odd. This is definitely very nice, though. Um, would I say the whole overall package 
worth the amount it was, which uh, I think it was like $80 or something. I can't win them, boy. It was, it was expensive. <laughs> this was not cheap. It might even been more than that. It only has a very nice looking box going for it, but um, at least the slip cover. It looks like they did a lot more with the slip cover, to be honest. To be honest, they should have just basically had this on that and use the slip cover for protection. But, I don't know. It's pretty nice. I'm not saying I necessarily hate it, but uh, it is a bit big for what you get in it. I mean, eh. now I'm trying to get the slip cover back on. The pain. Yeah. But it'll make a nice looking uh, shelf item with that. And I still want to do Hotline Miami too. Just been trying to get a lot of other stuff. Not sure what was up with some of the way in the little manufacturing things though. Now, watch these two PS4 games. Well, technically this is just a Wii Master. So let's get to the new nitty gritty game here. Yeah. Let's see what we got going on in this very little box. Will you impress us with a lot more contents? Okay. So we got a slip cover. And ooh my and we're all the way out doing the hotline Miami. Very nice in the corridors or they're all, um, what, what's Tom trying to think of? They're, they're standing out from the background and the corridors are high gloss. Very nice quality logo on the side. Assuming that's like one of the kingdoms. Again, it's standing out from the background. This is all way, box wise, this is all way, way more impressive than that Hotline Miami box. So. Ooh, and there we solely crammed the insides full of stuff here. So, of course, we have the game sealed. A call to arms for music, my dear friends. We have 15 tracks on here. I'm not sure if that's everything or just sort of mount. And I'm not... Sure, what the hell this is supposed to be. There's a code on it, and I don't know if that's actually a pawn for anything. So I will have to look that up. Looks like this is some kind of mental art book or something here. Ugh. I hate when they use stickles and stuff. It's very cheap plastic. So I don't know if this is... Uh, Pulling code here for anything. As far as I know, this doesn't come with any DLC or anything, so I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. So, let's see, this might be some kind of map here, because it's clearly a big piece of paper folded up. Let's see, well, it's one sided, whatever it is. It looks like it's just going to be a Really big, big. Ooh, yeah, that's a decent sized poster, though. Uh, the artwork doesn't look as good as the box, though. It's still pretty good quality in the image, though. That's not too bad. Let's see, then it looks like we got some kind of. Ooh, this book looks nice. I guess. Looks like got a bunch of stickers. See, so you got one of the characters on the poster, and I'm assuming these are the logos of all the different kingdoms. And oh my goodness, this looks gorgeous! I love this kind of stuff. I don't think I've seen anything like this since like the Nini Kuni. The Nini Kuni book was really good. I like the detail on this. This is very nice. Very nice. It kind of reminds me of the Lunar books that um, 
that walking design did and ah the nice little glossy shine again reminds me of the Lunar books if you never saw the booklets for the Lunar or the Ark of the Lad box sets looks like we just got lots of very nice artwork <laughs> Da 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 Uh I hope I can get that Makumo flag. Oh yeah, there's a lot of sketches. Yeah, I like the art walk in this one a lot, Bell. I'm assuming all the story killers for the single play or very nice. This this is very impressive. I just hope the binding ain't too cheap. But uh, everything else looks very gorgeous about this. This is a very nice book. And since I pre ordered this on Amazon, I got a discount off its price. So that's just all the delight for me. I think it was only like, considering the 20% the off Amazon Prime price, I think it was only like about five bucks more, I think, than the normal version for me. Somewhere around there, it, it wasn't too terrible much. That's what I like about the Prime thing. The, these collector's editions that add like extra $10 or such. I mean, the Prime basically pays for itself in that regard. It's like, well, I might as well just upgrade because it, with the Prime, it basically makes it just, you know, really cheap. Let's see. Oh boy. It doesn't. Yeah. I'll just do that. Very nice. It's only crammed a lot. Well, I mean, it wasn't too terrible more, but uh, it certainly was all fit in a much nicer package. The only thing is, I mean, I admit I do like the little insert spots for the uh, Hotline Miami stuff. That does help uh, keep it all nice or in good old condition now. But what can you do? We'll figure out how to put that all back in its box off screen. So let me sit these all to the side here. And we'll get into the last one. Now this one's very nice size though. I mean if you need a comparison to a DVD case, pretty good pretty good size. So Let's see if Atlas also fit a lot of goodies in theirs. Again, this isn't as big as the Hotline Miami one. This is the mid-range size, so... It looks like it's also in a slip cover, though. Now, I have the, um... I believe I had the PS2 version of this. I know I have Princess Crown on the PSP. I, I'm pretty sure I have this on the PS2, so I had the original version. I'm pretty sure I did. So it's definitely considering uh, these are the people who did the artwork for um, Vanillaware who did Dragon's Crown and that. They do very good artwork. Like, look up almost any Vanillaware game. They have a really interesting art style from the kind of generic anime style. There's a style that they just seem to capture that no one else has really emulated. So yeah, we got a glossy slip cover. It's very good quality. Then inside it looks like it's not glossy, but it is very good looking artwork. Very high quality again, very nice. Um, it's definitely not cheap quality uh, material there. It's, like I said, it's not glossy, but it's very nice looking still. See, in the back has a map. And inside, ooh, we got a lot of packing stuff in here. Ooh, Let's see. We got a steel, a steel slip cover. That's a bit bizarre. I heard um, this particular picture actually. I've heard um, yeah the, the actual cover. 
I heard there was some kind of censorship around the whole hip area on this. I, I, I haven't really gotten a good look at what that was exactly. So the game, of course, sealed. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. A uh, steel slip cover. Kind of odd, but uh, hmm. Pulled it in. Kind of reminds me of uh, what uh, um, that uh, shadow one with horns did with the box. Let's see, we got a short heel. Looks like it just has a very simple image on it, so I don't think I'll worry about taking that out. Let's see. One looks like just one piece of artwork in plastic, and it's very nice looking. Now, I only played a little of this game. I know I played it before. But never got really far in it, and it's just one of those things never devoted a lot of time to. But it was very interesting when I did get to play. And just sadly never got to sit down and dwell a lot into it. But it's only been something that I've been considering. You know, the pages. Like, you ever see those old Disney wildlife books or the old Disney storybooks? I don't know what kind of paper that was, but the, the paper in this really reminds me of that quality of paper, if you have ever seen those books. It's very nice. Hard cover. Again... Not too much more, but is also very nicely packaged. I'm not sure if I want to take the short out. See, size LGG, 100% cotton. Uh, let's see, is there any? No, it's completely sealed up. Not sure what, but it doesn't look like it has anything complicated on it, so I think I'll just leave that be. So overall, I mean, uh, the art book and the steel, uh, steel slip cover, this is very bizarre, though. I don't think I've ever seen any game have something like this. Um, I don't know how to feel about it. It's nice looking, but I think I'd just whether get a steel case. I mean... I mean, they're only saving on a little bit of steel, so it kind of just makes me wonder why they don't just do that. I don't know. What do you think about that? But a uh, very gorgeous box. Uh, there's no denying the box is very nice. I gotta say, these are both very, very well done boxes. I definitely gotta give credit to the team that put those together. And this one, uh, I always appreciate a nice limited edition box that's easy to get all slipped back together. So those are all today's unboxings. Those are very nice. I, I definitely have to say, I think, uh, box-wise, I think I like the Grand Kingdom one the best. It just has a really nice pop out to it. But um, like I said, it's uh, all the to disencourage a vanilla whale game it just has a very distinct art style that is pretty much it, it you know you can look at almost anything they've done and just be like yep that's a vanilla whale game it, it's just they it's like you know the guy who does dragon ball z you know he has a distinct way how he draws his characters even though about half of them repeat half dozen times you can look at it and be like yep that's by the dbz guy they just have that distinct way they draw their characters. And I mean, uh, it, it, I, I would still categorize it as anime looking, but I mean, it's, a, I don't know, like a much more serious goth kind of tone to it, I'd say. But, uh, I, in, in general, usually, but, um, yeah, Dragon's Crown's probably the more, um, more or less of that art style, but, uh, very nice, though. Very nice. I definitely like it. I like it, I like it, and I definitely really like this this book though. I mean let let me get the Ninikuni one 
Because a lot of you might never have seen the, the Nini Cooney books. I got them way over here on the shelf. So for those who are either new or have never uh, seen them before, <coughs> I own uh, both versions in the Nini Cooney book, which uh, do actually have distinct uh, differences in their design. But um, I originally, let's see, here's the... This is the Japanese one that I got with the DS version. Um, I bought it because, uh, well, I I wanted to get it and uh, I finally found a good price for it. Uh, I didn't want to get to the point where it was going to become hard to purchase. Uh, these are very nice. And when I went to New York Comic Con, I believe yeah, I believe it was the last time I went to New York Comic Con. Um, the Namco booth, uh, which was mainly there for the new Tales game of Zelia One, I believe, um, they were selling Nini Cooney's um, Grace Hits version at the time, I believe. If they won, it was the original. No, it was the original. It was a black label version. I remember now. It was a black label version of it, and they were selling it. And they had books from the Wizard Edition, which is in English. Um, for those unfamiliar, Nini Cooney's Wizard Edition was very limited. Uh, it was incredibly scalped, and um, there was horrible delays and issues, and people got shitloads of their orders canceled while they waited for, for like, forever for it. And then they get told it was canceled. Uh, these are very nice. I mean, look how thick that is. This is a 339, no, 4, 440, not counting this extra insert here. That's a huge book. <coughs> now, they weren't selling these books uh, by themselves either. Uh, you had to buy them in a bundle thing with Nini Cooney, so I have two versions of Nini Cooney because of that, but I really wanted this book because. Uh, Essentially, this is just, you know, a translation of this, so in, in theory, this actually can help me play the DS game, oddly enough. But um, there are differences between uh, icons and stuff on them. But, um, to compare those, mainly this, I mean, those, this, this reminds me a lot more of the Lunar games, but this is a very nice touch, though. I, I definitely like it. I like it, I like it. Do more of this. Do more of these. I like these. These were very nice. I mean, I have the Ark the Lad and both Lunar Silver Star and Eternal Blue. Um, they're very nice uh, instruction booklets with them that make them look very flashy. So I'd love to see more of this kind of stuff. And it was a, it was a decent price for it too, so... Anyway, if you have any questions about anything of that, please leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'm hoping to try out Grand Kingdoms Online. It's supposed to have like a single player story, and then an online uh, kingdom battle kind of thing, so... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I'm really interested in trying that out, but uh, I am trying to get some of the stuff that I've had on delay because of high hiatus and busyness and that so hopefully i get some time to try some of that out and uh once i get some of my let's plays uh cleaned up or at least the ps4 ones more tightened down i am i could still even doing odin's feel finally after all aside from the side boss in uh dragon's crown which i would like to do but dan does not have his PS3 out, it's, he keeps saying it's like in storage or some, th some shit, so, uh, I do want to do that too, but I haven't been able to do any of that, but, uh, hopefully, get to check some of that out, hope you all have a good day, I'm going to go and cry about how I shouldn't have bought Battleborn for $29 on Amazon Prime, I shouldn't have. Seriously, like GameStop's about to sell for nineteen dollars on the last day of July, and there's barely anyone playing it. It's the return of uh, Blink. Yes, it's Blink all over again. Damn it! Damn it, Gearbox! Stop fucking it. Anyway, I'm just moaning, complaining, and complaining now. Hope you enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and see you next time.